get to it. We have team coverage on the changes as Chief Meteorologist Nick Marianos tracks that. But first, let's go to your reporter, Madison Keevy, getting answers on how firefighters are preparing now, Madison. You know, it's very likely this weekend that fire stations across this area are, are going to be busy. At the very least, we know they're ready to go. And one of the biggest concerns with this red flag warning we're going to see is the wind. A grass fire east of Vacaville burned through the dry fields up to at least 20 acres. Smoke was visible from miles away, a sign of the conditions in the Sacramento Valley. Fuels are dried out from the summer, clearer in parts of Rio Vista. Add to it humidity that's set to be low into the weekend. All of it stoked by gusty winds. So that's a combination that if there were a fire were to start, it leads to conditions where that fire could expand rapidly. Cal Fire's plan for this red flag warning is the same as it's been all summer, an aggressive first attack. In hard to reach areas, like west of the I-5 corridor, the aerial fight will be critical. And because they can get to the fires a lot quicker sometimes than some of the ground resources. We go very aggressive with our resource deployment. Uh, whether it be with our dozer, our helicopter, or our ground resources, uh, the engines and the boots on the ground. We throw everything we have at it because we know lives and property are at stake. SAC Metro Fire with the same approach. Their battalion chief says the majority of the fires they run on are kept to an acre or less. CBS 13's chief meteorologist and former firefighter Nick Marianos honed in on the wind. But you add in potential for wind gusts about 50 miles per hour and it takes any potential fire start and has the potential to grow quickly and over a large area, especially across the western part of the valley. And you know, we've said it before, but just because we're in October in the fall doesn't mean we're out of that fire season risk. Of course, we've seen some of our largest fires burn from October on. But we go back to Nick Marianos here. Nick, uh, talk to us this first alert weather day we know is coming up. You're tracking mm -hmm. things, including the wind, as we just talked about. Yeah, you know, especially because uh, we're coming off of the hot summer, right? A number of 100 plus degree days. So the surface fuels really cured uh, over the last number of months and uh, add in humidity levels below 10 percent. That is so dry for this area along with the wind. And that's going to be the case, especially Friday. Red flag warnings do span over a few days, Thursday through Saturday, but it's really going to be Friday that we have the greatest concern for those fires, uh, grass fires across the valley. Wind advisories are in place on Friday as well. Along in west of I-5 is where the emphasis is, where we have the highest uh, greatest wind gusts and we're going to see that behind two storm systems, one of which moves in tomorrow, the second of which will pass to our east, but it'll pull down that dry air and the uh, behind that storm giving us those winds as well. And that's what's going to help really fuel those fire concerns as we get later this week. Couple showers tomorrow for the foothills and for the Sierra, mainly dry conditions overall for the valley, but it's Friday that we're wa watching carefully. We do have that first load action day because of the wind, because of the uh, fire concerns. Of course, the wind, uh, Tony, may lead to isolated outages as well. We know you'll watch it, Nick. Thanks. And PG&E is already warning about possible power safety shutoffs for later this week, potentially impacting thousands of customers across Northern California. So the utility put out some new numbers tonight I want to share with you, saying the shutoffs may affect up to 28,000 customers across parts of 30 different counties. The shutoffs would start Thursday, expand Friday, and run through Sunday. The most impacted will be 3,800 customers in Tuolumne County.